I'm in Vilnius, the capital of Lithuania, to explore this city flag. And while it looks like this, you may be forgiven for thinking it might look like this. But first, let's explore the city flag of Vilnius. Vilnius, or Vilnui if it was French, which it isn't, world famous for its Baroque architecture, cobbled streets, and the one we all know and love, the neoclassical Gothic Vilnius Cathedral of Anne's Church. The city flag is this rather bold piece of art, and surprisingly, I like it. Why? Well, let's start with what's going on in the middle here. It's a depiction of the city's patron saint, that of St. Christopher, carrying a little baby Jesus across a river. But there's a story about this picture, who was St. Christopher and why was he carrying Jesus while well, there's around 300 years between the two of them? I'm about to tell you in my abridged version of St. Chris's biography. St. Christopher's actual name was Ophorus, obviously, and he was the son of a pagan king and a Christian mother who lived, allegedly, in Canaan, Palestine. Ophorus was said to have a giant manhood. What? Oh, right. Ophorus was said to be giant in stature when he reached manhood. Not sure that sounds much better, and wanted to serve only the bravest and strongest leaders. He served various rulers, all pagans, but they didn't quite fit his portfolio. While on his travels, he met a hermit called Babylus, who convinced Ophorus to serve Christ. As this was more in keeping of Ophorus's remit, he acted as a carrier of Christian pilgrims so they could cross a river with no bridges or boats. One day, while carrying a small child across the water, the child grew heavier and heavier. When they reached the other side, the child informed Ophorus that he'd been carrying the weight of the planet Earth as well as the one who created it. I look quite good with hair. In the depiction of this, you can see the baby holding an orb which represents the world. Ophorus became a committed Christian baptised by the hermit Babylus and was given the name Christopher, meaning Christ Bearer, you see. Behind me is the Church of St Nicholas, and if you follow me this way, you'll come across the patron saint of St Vilnius, which is this guy here, St Christopher, who is also the patron saint of travellers. Now, what St Nicholas and St Christopher have got in common, no idea, but it's this guy with baby Jesus that appears on the city flag. There's two forms of this city flag, just to be greedy. One with the full coat of arms, which includes supports on the outside, a wreath which houses the national Lithuanian flag colours, and a motto reading, unity, justice, hope, but in Latin, of course. The seal dates back to the 14th century, and this version was adopted after a redesign on the 17th of April 1991, following the end of the Soviet Union occupation a year before. There is the lesser version without all the pomp and ceremony going on all around it. And why do I like this flag? Well, for me, it's the colour. I'm just a fan of the dark red. Love it. That's why I like Qatar over Bahrain. Slightly off-piste, I know. Clashes a bit with the coat of arms, don't you think? But I guess we can't all be perfect. Let me know whether you like it or not in the comments below. The flag has a 2-3 ratio. And for full Vexy nerd details, the deep red, yellow, deep red has a 9 to 9 ratio. And for sheer entertainment, I've all the Pantone colours in the description below because pff, why not? But why you might you be mistaken that this is the city flag? Well, that's because it's everywhere on every street corner and park. But what is this flag? Who is the guy on horseback? Well, to find out, you'll need to click this video here and I'll let you into a little secret. It's not St. Christopher. We're seeing you.